Well, what is up, YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today, I have a product that's a long time coming, the brand new 2020 Marantz 6015. What makes this product so great? Well, I'll have to say Marantz is without a doubt our best seller for consumer grade products. Really well built product at a very reasonable price point. Today, I'm gonna just be unboxing this product, but you gotta subscribe to the channel because we got a ton of videos where we'll be doing setups of this product, uh, installs where we hook it up to surround sound and projection systems and show demos. So just a wide variety of content. We're really your one-stop shop. We listen to what you guys want and we deliver that content. All that we ask is that you buy from us. We have the nationwide free shipping and the lowest price guaranteed on everything we sell. We really appreciate y'all's support. All right, let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. All right, let's unbox it. So, as you can see, this is just a brown box with Dream Media on the side. The reason that we have a regular box on the outside is because we have had so many damaged units over the last year, it's insane. Um, so now, we, for at least the last six months, have been double packing everything just to go that extra mile. If anything happens to your product in shipping, you don't need to worry because we insure all of our packages and we'll get you out a new one right away. We really pride ourselves on our customer service and try to take care of our customers and give you that top notch quality. It's around Halloween time. I think the uh, guys are messing with me. It sends a bunch of uh, candy with it. <laughs> All right, I got the Marantz SR 6015 out of the <laughs> bubble wrap in that other box. Now we're gonna open up the actual box. Right here on the top, you can see that this does have a lot of features built in. This is why Marantz is my favorite consumer grade product. It just has everything that you would expect ready to rock and roll. We got Denon Heos, which you guys know Heos, we've done a ton of whole house audio setups with. It's great, it's multi-room software and it gives you the ability to independently stream music throughout your home. So even on this model here, you can independently have a surround sound system going and say stream audio out to your patio or something like that. We'll talk about the different applications here shortly. Has AirPlay 2, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa for voice control, all that good stuff. We got Dolby Atmos, IMAX Enhanced, DTS, uh, the Odyssey setup. We got 8K. This is one thing that I haven't talked about. Um, yet, but in 2020, all of the receivers are now putting in 8K HDMI ports. It's a little premature. I know that it's just like when HDMI 1.4 came out and you know we were breaking through 1080p into 4K. Well, we're doing the same thing now with the 8K ports. But for my guys out there that want the latest and greatest, the best that's available, it's here. It's 2020 and we're moving into 8K now. We got HDR10. This is uh, Dolby Vision compatible. It's ISF certified, room tested. It's got Amazon Music. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on, guys. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. First thing you're gonna see here on the top of the box is it's stating to actually download those apps that I was just talking about. Let's take a closer look, guys. You got the App Store and the Google Play Store and you have that Heos, which is for multi-room streaming, and then the Marantz, which the Marantz AVR app is really cool. Say you're a guy that really enjoys optimizing the audio for your home theater experience, you know that every single movie that you watch is a little bit different. You can come into the AVR app and not only change all of your surround sound formatting between the different surround sound options, but you can adjust your level calibration on the fly. So say you're having a hard time hearing dialogue, you can go up and just crank that a little bit or crank your surrounds, play with your subwoofer, and then default it real quick and easy back to whatever the Odyssey has programmed it to be. 
All right, here's the inside. We got a remote. And everything that you can do in the app, you can do on the remote and then some. You have batteries included. We have the Odyssey calibration software. So this is required. Don't even consider hooking this up unless you're going to run your Odyssey setup mic or you're a professional that knows how to assign your crossovers properly and do your level calibration. It, what this is going to do is you set it in the middle of the room and you like set up this little stand at ear height and it's measuring all of the room acoustics and doing room correction and assigning how much power needs to go to every speaker as well as the crossover for that speaker. Pretty cool that they include that. We have a lot of higher end manufacturers where we actually have a professional stand, but I think this is just so smart that they include this because it's just made out of paper, but it accomplishes the same thing. Power cable user guide and warranty info. So I do want to talk about warranty guys. When you're buying on the internet, you got to make sure you're buying from an authorized reseller. Here at Dream Media, we really pride ourselves on the relationships that we have with the manufacturers and you will get that full manufacturer's warranty when purchasing from Dream Media. This is the limited warranty here. These come with a three year. You got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antennas. If you're DIYing it, this is so cool that they include these labels. Basically, as you're hooking your toner up to the line and figuring out which speaker goes where, you can just label it. And then all of these are color coded to the back of the terminals on the AVR. Again, for me, it's the small things. So I'm a huge Denon and Marantz fan. We carry Denon too. And if you guys don't like Denon and Marantz, we have Yamaha, which is a good option too. I just happen to be a Zen and a Marantz fan. I think they really kill the game for consumer electronics. Now, Den and Marantz are actually the same company. It's like Toyota and Lexus, except for Marantz is known as a more musical sounding processor. Okay, let's get it out and look at it. All right. So I'm gonna bring you guys down to the level of the unit and we're going to talk about some of these connections here on the back. So the 6015 is a nine channel amplifier, but it's actually an 11.2 channel processor. So if you guys wanted to, you could actually run uh, a pre out into a second two channel amp and utilize the full 11 too. Pretty cool. Let's talk through these connections. This can be a little overwhelming to some people. So you got your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antennas here. Oh, before I go any further, uh, on the amplification, this is 110 watts a channel, uh, eight ohms for two channels driven. So if you're looking to get into more high fidelity audio, you're going to want to go in and get separates. And Marantz actually makes like their 8805 and the uh, 7706, I believe is the model, um, if you wanna get into separates. But this AVR is an all-in-one amplifier and processor, but when you divide out that power between all of those channels, it can definitely um, be a little weak for certain speaker setups. But for the average consumer, it's amazing. You got digital audio assignable inputs here, uh, coax and optical, um, and then you have a network connection. Again, this has Wi-Fi and hardwired capabilities, and it has the ability for all those applications and streaming and stuff built in. You have seven HDMI inputs, but only one of them is actually 8K. The others are 4K DHCP 2.3. That's important to note. Like I said, this, these 8K ports are really premature. I mean, it's, it's groundbreaking technology, but most people aren't gonna use it. You got uh, HDMI out 8K, uh, DHCP 2.3, you got 4K here, and then this is the only one that's 8K, and then you got your monitor too. This does support ARC and eARC. That's important to note. 
AM, FM. I don't know why they even put those on there anymore, honestly. Nobody uses it. DC out, RS-232, and these are all control, your flasher. You got a ground here, and then you got remote control, video in, component in, and video out. These are all, these, these are for your old school devices. Like, say you got an old Xbox or whatever an old PlayStation, gaming consoles, things like that, you may utilize these still. You have audio in, these are all assignable, and then you have a phono in as well. And then seven, one, channel in. Again, this is, these are all inputs. And then you got pre-outs. This is what I was speaking about earlier. If say you have some really power hungry speakers that need more juice, you can still use this as a processor, a preamp, and just use these outputs for, you know, outputting the audio to your individual amplifiers, or you maybe have a multi-channel amp. But these analog connections aren't balanced. If you're getting into high fidelity, you're gonna want balanced XLR outputs, and that's where that 8805 is a great choice. All of these are your speaker terminals. And like I said, see how they're color coded? Those labels align right up to the back. So you can run like a front left, right, and center, front sound stage here, and then surround left and right. That would be a five channel system. And then you can either do one subwoofer or two subwoofers here. The reason the subs are on the pre-out is because subwoofers typically, unless you're doing an in wall sub, they have their own amplifier. So you're just doing a pre-out through LFE. Um, to that subwoofer and the processor is controlling it. Now, if you have an in-wall sub, you'll run this out to your amp and then speaker wire to your in-wall subwoofer. Again, we love this stuff, guys, and our audio video consultants will be happy to walk you through all the different options available and find something that fits your exact needs and budget. So surround backs and heights. This is where you can go in and assign different rooms. So you could run like a 5-1 and another zone um, as an example, or you can run a full, you know, say 7-2-2, two, two. or you could do a 9-2, or you could do a 5.2.4 Dolby Atmos system. So really a lot of different options to choose from, but a lot of that's gonna depend on your room. So again, use our free consultant service and ask our guys what they think uh, we should do for your space and we'll find something that fits your budget. It's a really good unit though, guys. You can't go wrong with it at this price point. I think retail on it is $15.99. Here's the front of the unit. I like how Marantz, they put this little drop down and you have hard button controls down here. Pure Direct, Emax, Zone 2, Zone 2 Source, uh, Tuner, Dimmer, Status, Sound Mode. You got your input selector here, and you got your volume control here, power button, phones, mic setup, USB. This is where you plug the Odyssey calibration in. And then you got um, another just aux input here on the front. Here's all the fun stuff that's built in there. 9.2, 110 watts per channel. Again, this is what's important to note, guys. It's eight ohms, two channels driven. It's kind of, this is like the most highly debated thing, you know, why the manufacturers label them this way because it's very confusing to the average homeowner. But depending on what speakers you need, our audio video consultants will find an option that works really well for you. Um, but the 11.2 channel processing is pretty impressive for a unit of this cost. The comparable model is gonna be that uh, Denon 3700 if you're wanting the next step down. And they did 11 channel processing on that this year too. Pretty cool. All right guys, well, that's the unit. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right guys, well that does conclude my unboxing video of the Marantz SR6015. This thing is an incredible performance unit at a very reasonable price point. Again, like I said, retail is $15.99. We guarantee the lowest price on this product as well as everything that we sell with nationwide free shipping and that free design service. Reach out and show your support guys. We would love the opportunity to create your dream system. Well. That about concludes my unboxing video. Again, if you guys like this video, smash that subscribe button down below for more and give me a big thumbs up. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.